tree here and I have felt called a number of times to talk about this specific process that I had for connecting with and disconnecting from entities, either humans that are at a distance or humans that are close, individuals or groups of humans, uh, non-human entities, uh, macro conscious entities, <laughs> etc. Um, so any of your metaphysical contacts that you want to make, what I learned was that it's very appealing to connect to and request additional streams of information, but that we can become easily sort of excited and enthralled by that and sort of even maybe become addicted to having all these streams and feeds of information coming to us from non-ordinary sources and that we can get addicted to that and burnout and overwhelm can come pretty fast when we don't remember to disconnect from something. Also, if you're a sensitive person, you really need a process for tuning into and back out of a particular stream of information or awareness so that you can kind of manage your your sensory apparatus. You know, I do I want to see, do I want to hear, do I want to feel? Um, you very much have to take ownership of how you're going to connect and then also have the discipline to disconnect <laughs> at the end. So I adapted a process over time and, um, and it goes basically like this. If, if I'm going to connect to an individual to let's say do a, a psychic reading or something along those lines, then internal to myself, I do a thing and then external with the person I do a thing so I'm just gonna model that I'm gonna treat you like you're the person okay so hi in order to do our psychic reading I'm going to be connecting to my internal guidance and my guides and and I'm gonna ask that my guides speak with and um, collaborate with your guides so that only what you and your guidance are ready for will come through. I will only have access to those things. And it will only be during the duration of this work. And then we'll both disconnect. So I want you to take a few deep breaths and just quietly connect with your sense of guidance. Angels, spirit guides, uh, sacred animals, whatever it is that feels right for you. Um, Jesus, a certain angel. So uh, just think about that for a moment and then just close your eyes, take a few deep breaths and quietly connect to your guides, your people. So I then would quietly breathe for three or four breaths and then on the inside, what I'm doing is this. I would like to connect to my higher self. I would like to connect to the diva of healing. I would like to connect to Pan, the god of nature. I would like to connect to my special representatives from the Council of Light, which go by a nickname that I've given them that is, is just a one word little nickname. Uh, for my guides. So on the inside, I'm doing that. And I'm asking one at a time and I'm sort of feeling them log in, if you will. So when I take a deep breath and ask to connect to my higher self, there's a little shift, just a very subtle shift. And so um, I'm going to just model that for you out loud. I would like to connect with my higher self. I'd like to connect with the diva of healing. I'd like to connect with Pan. 
I would like to connect with the Map Cinnamon team. There's my little nickname. <laughs> then I take a deep breath and I sort of imagine that my higher self is the facilitator. She's convening a meeting. And since, since I instructed you to do the same uh, before we engaged in our psychic reading, uh, at this point, I would then, after we've both connected, I would say, okay, we're both connected. So my higher self is a facilitator, and she's talking with my guides. She's talking with your guides, and she is the mouthpiece that's coming through to me. There was a point in time where I tried the form of channeling where you allow the entity to use your mouth or your hands or your body, and that was interesting and different, but it turns out it's not 100% safe for the local organism to allow entities so much access. And I can talk about that at another time if someone's interested. So let me see where I was. So then, so then we're connected and my higher self is going to um, be the only voice that I have to listen to and she is connecting with you, your higher self, your guides, um, any related entities that we've called in. Uh, and this is for some one-to-one -one work, like a psychic reading or a healing. At the end of the work, which, you know, could be 20 minutes or an hour later, um, it's a session. We're either face-to-face -face or we're at a distance. But when the work is over, I then invite you. I say, okay, so... We're complete here, and I would like you to take a few deep breaths and give thanks to your guides, and then ask your guides to disconnect from my guides. So then while you're quietly breathing, I'm quietly doing the same, and I'm, and I'm saying um, thank you. My... You could say, I disconnect, or you could have your own set of words. You just need to be consistent. So my particular way is sort of a thank you, as in like, thank you and goodbye. So I would say, and I'm going to leave my highest self to the last. Thank you, Pan. Thank you, Diva of Healing. Thank you, Map Cinnamon Team. Thank you, Higher Self. And then it's just little old local me and little old local self you and our guides and all of the extra energies have been put down that you know if we've been doing a lot of certain kinds of work have other things that need to be grounded and put back in but this video wasn't about that so I'm gonna try not to get distracted <laughs> okay and then for groups it's similar but it's different and I have to make a separate video because this will take forever to upload so I'm gonna do that as a part two thanks I'll be right back